bacon, mushroom, cheeseburger, egg roll. That's what I'm about to make. And it's just something I dreamed up. I don't know if anybody else has done it or not, but I've got this little plan to make this egg roll with the bacon, mushroom, cheeseburger in it. So, no, I'm not putting no hamburger bun. We're using real egg roll wrappers. And I'm sure it's going to be good. I know it's going to be good because I'm making it. The first thing I'm going to cook is the bacon. I think three strips should be enough for the one pound of ground beef that I'm going to be using. Then you start cooking off your ground beef. Just like as if you're making a spaghetti, make sure it's all broken up, no clumps. And in this case, I put a little garlic, salt, and pepper in here. And when you're done cooking it, make sure you strain it well. Get all that fat out. Right here is everything that's going to go into this egg roll. The bacon cheeseburger mushroom egg roll bacon cheeseburger mushroom burger egg roll so yeah ground beef one pound mild cheddar cheese bacon mushroom onion and yes some garlic pickles you want you want it you want to pat dry those pickles because you don't want the water causing the oil to splash up in your armor on your face. Egg roll wrappers and mustard. Uh, I'm going to put maybe a squirt or two in the mix or you could call it the filling and or you can also use dry mustard but I think in this case I'm just going to use prepared mustard. So let's mix it all together. Not too much, but probably. cheese being chopped up is fine because it's going to melt. I love mustard on hamburger, therefore I will love it on the hamburger egg roll. So some people like to use a little egg wash or whatever to seal these up. I don't see no need in that. But uh, So you just put a little bit of that filling right up in there. Up in there. I like that and then you're going to take this corner bring it up you're going to tighten it up if the egg roll is not tight the egg roll will fall apart I repeat it will fall apart so I'm just using water to seal it up a little bit And I'm going to fold this over. Now, 
I'm not sure if I got the right amount in there. Maybe I can put a little more. We will see once I roll this up. Yeah, I can make it a little bigger than this. So, you see how much I was able to roll that? So. seal the end off. Now after you roll these up you, you have to you want to put it in some sort of bag so they don't dry out you know you treat this just like bread like tortillas whatever So you are looking at my Presto defat fryer. Uh, this thing was filthy. I had a lot of work to do to get it cleaned up, but I did it. You know, never let the dirty oil sit in a fryer for any period of time, unless you're going to use it like immediately. But right here, we have the two egg rolls. And I don't know. These are the last two I rolled up, so let's put them in and see how this goes. The true test here is, do they fall apart or not? If they fall apart, it's kind of a failure. So here we go. I got the fryer at 350 degrees. And they are kind of blowing up, it looks like. Looking good. Get a little light. You see, it's kind of falling apart. That one's kind of falling apart. That one's coming loose there, it looks like. It's okay. It's not a showstopper. I can smell that hamburger, I can smell the bacon, I can smell the onion. Can't smell the pickle. As soon as you're done with your fryer, man, always clean it. Yes, you gotta let it cool down, of course. But light came back on. Fire light. Looking good, actually looking really good. Smelling great. Now what will I dip them in? More mustard or maybe a little ketchup? I'd say these babies are just about done. Let's take these out, put them on the plate. Now the total of egg rolls I was able to make with one pound of ground beef along with the rest of the filling was I made 10 of them. <clears throat> so doesn't that look good? Sweet. Let's take this in the house, make preparations for Operation Chow Down. Turn off this fryer. I got the egg rolls in, the two that I cooked, and they're right here. They are looking good. Uh, generally, you would want these to be more uniform in shape if you're making them for like a little party or whatever as finger food. You know, you want them all to look the same, but 
was experimenting with the sizes. So this one, you can see a little flare up on the wrap. See that little beak sticking on there. This one came out pretty good. I put this one had the most filling in it, so that's why it's so much more bigger. Well, let's try. We'll try the smaller one. So, and I got some mustard and ketchup here, and we'll see which one I like it with best. So here we go. Hope it don't burn my mouth. I let it cool off a little bit. Oh man. Woo! I am happy. This is good. I'm gonna I'm gonna try some mustard now. Try some mustard. A little squirt on there. I love my mustard as I said. Here we go, another bite. Mm. I nailed it. So very good. I mean a hamburger in a Negro. I will call this a little experiment a true success. So thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for looking in and watching me enjoy myself. Eat some of my little creation here. And uh, I'm gonna finish this up. But I'm gonna get I'm gonna turn off this camera so until next time. I'm Polly. Thank you. Till next time.